Welcome to Experience Growth. We're here to help you discover, define, and deliver your big ideas. Hey, this is Colin Tomlin, author of the Grow House series of books, publisher of EG Magazine, the latest issue of which is out this week, uh, and also Chief Encouragement Officer from Experience Growth. Now, like most people in the UK and the East Coast of America, uh, we woke up to snow this week. Um, in fact, I think it was snowing uh, last week in the US. But this week, we woke up to snow here in the UK. Um, and there was one day, I think it was Monday, that I was headed to the shops and I thought, you look a right picture, Colin, because I had on my running gear and my wellies. And I guess you could say I was prepared. And the story uh, that came to mind when I was thinking about that was the story of Maurice Wilson. Uh, Maurice Wilson was a guy that was born in Bradford in the UK. Uh, he is, was a soldier by all accounts, a very successful soldier. Uh, he got um, the military cross uh, or some sort of award which is covered uh, in the blog. And he ha was medically discharged because he was wounded on the battlefield and got sent home. Um, and then that kind of led him to a few things. Uh, one of the things that that led him to was faith. And, you know, he had an, uh, an, um, an illness uh, which led him to encounter a mysterious person in Mayfair. Um, and he went through 35 days of prayer and fasting and he was miraculously healed of uh, his health challenge. And that led him to believe that anything and everything in his life could be overcome and solved by faith through prayer and fasting. Um, and then he decided he wanted to climb Mount Everest with no training, with no experience. Uh, and <laughs> in fact, let me not tell you the story. Go on to experiencegrowth.online forward slash blogs and you can see the story of Maurice Wilson there. It's called Be Prepared or Else. And the encouragement to you is, you know, definitely have faith, definitely have the kind of belief that you can do it. Um, uh, if you're of a spiritual bent, believe in God, um, as I do, but don't, whatever you do, be like Maurice Wilson, because the kind of faith he had uh, didn't end so well, or, or it didn't end so well for him. So www.experiencegrowth.online forward slash blogs and read the story of Moritz Wilson. Uh, I think it will encourage you, but it will also be sobering for you that yes, faith is necessary, but you also need to be prepared or else. So have a great rest of the week. Uh, hey, let's do this. Be prepared or else.